This week's video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that has thousands of inspiring classes for curious and creative people. I most recently took a class that was called Design Great Stuff, How to Make Merch with Draplin, and it was taught by Aaron Draplin. He gave me some great ideas of some stuff that I want to do with our merch. It was super simple to use and it, I could do it at my own pace. That was the best part about it. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click the link in the description box to help you with your creativity. After that, it's about $10 a month. So if you're not sure what you want to do with your life and you want to join a creative community, Skillshare is the place for you where you can learn and it can help you reach your goals. Push it all the way up. There we go. my phone. Okay. Push it my way. Ten foot by 15 foot Appalachian style cabin. Board and batten siding, a loft sleeping area, side shed for firewood, a wood cook stove, a tin roof, and a small front porch. I've wanted to build a cabin somewhere on our property since the very first day we purchased our property four years ago. We've had other priorities over the last four years, like building our home, putting in our septic system, putting in our well, now starting on our shop. But my son and I decided this summer, it was time to build a cabin. The cabin location is somewhere between a quarter and a half mile away from our off-grid home but we deliberately picked the cabin location where it would be very hard to find. Our intentions are to leave as much of the natural maple trees as we can and make our little cabin part of the environment. As much as I would love to build a traditional log cabin, this is simply gonna be framed the same way I framed our home. Two by four studs, 16 on center. I call it an Appalachian style cabin because in my head, it reminds me of something that would be found in the hills of Kentucky where my grandfather grew up. The board and batten siding that was used back then was not used because it was cute. It was used because it was the cheapest way to build a cabin. The batten strips were used to keep the wind out 
as the green boards would dry. I suppose building this little cabin is a tip of the hat to my grandfather and his Appalachian heritage. If anybody taught me the value of hard work, it would have been him. He'd be 109 years old right now. By the time I was about nine years old, his body was so worn out from hard work that it now became my job to help out where he needed it. As much as I love the Appalachian heritage of my grandfather, I think he was embarrassed by it. Once he got away from it, he rarely talked about it. One of the few things that I do remember is him showing how he could whistle just like the birds and the trees that surrounded him where he grew up. One of my favorite things to do while I'm working is to listen to the birds around me as well. Once the cabin is finished, we will build an outside covered area where we can eat as a family. And then obviously we will build an outhouse. There will be no running water. There will be no indoor plumbing. All of the lighting in the cabin will be kerosene powered. There will be no solar panels. My intentions with this little cabin is to use it to escape to when we might need a little break from everything else. Unlike an old-timey Appalachian-style cabin, this cabin will be insulated. This cabin will also be built to handle a substantial snow load. Typically, we have around four feet of snow up here by the end of winter. We will use this cabin for family activities, but more than anything, just a good solid place to relax.
The foundation logs that are being used are cedar logs that I cut down about two and a half years ago. Since they've dried for the most part, they were quite easy to peel. And I will add a couple more of these cedar posts to the front porch when we get to that point. Again, everything is 16 on center, making it easy to work with four by eight sheets of OSB. As much as I would love to build a real log cabin back here on our property, it's probably not gonna happen this year. We've just got too much to get done before snow flies. The primary focus for the summer is to get the shop built and finished, but I've decided to give myself a day here and a day there to come up and work on the cabin until it's finished. If all goes well, it shouldn't take me too long. The next step in the process is going to be framing up the walls. We'll confirm where the two windows are gonna go, then we'll get serious about getting the walls stood up. If all goes well, this time next week, we should be done with it. 